Hey there, comic book fans. I'm back again this week with this week's Stack O Comics. Only four comics this week. Uh, well, I guess it's a nice normal week for me, four comics. Uh, I think we had a lot last week. Still no, um, what was that? He said it was coming in for me. Uh, Bob Hillbilly with a new miniseries, but eh, I'm not even worried about that now. Uh, if, if they're going to renumber series in the middle and I miss it, oh well. Freebie this week, a little comic shop news. I think that's a, what's that, a Cliff Chang cover? Right, is that who it said? Hold on, let me get my glasses. Yeah, Cliff Chang, looks like he's uh, channeling a little Paul Smith and Adam Hughes there to me. Uh, I think that's the Paul Smith era X-Men. Uncanny X-Men 1. Eh. Oh, I guess this, this issue is all about the uh, X-Men. Oh, we got some Spider-Man on the back. Spider-Man newspaper strip. Marvel rebuilds X-Men excitement. I'll believe that when I see it. Uh, foiled again. Oh, I guess they got foil. DC has added foil covers to comic books before. More October foil. Foil covers. There's another thing I can pass on. Uh, what else do we have here? I don't know. Looks like all Marvel and DC news. I'll check it out later. I always like to check out the comic shop news, see what's in it, and occasionally even find something I like, but, you know, you can't always count on it. Let's see, what do we have? The first of the four will be The Wicked and the Divine. What issue number we got here? 39. Ha! <laughs> Ten days later. Okay, he loves these blank, black, the, the um, what was it, a couple issues ago? I think there was 10 or 11 black pages it ended with. But at least, <laughs> he did that, at the, I think it was the writer's idea, and he did it at his own expense. This is normally a um, 32-page comic with, I think, 22 pages of story in it and 10 pages of ads or whatever. And he made that issue a 40-page comic just so he could add 10 more blank pages black pages to the end and Wicked and the Divine has just gotten so complex not really in terms of plot but in terms of all the characters relationships to one another that it's like I, I can't even remember I remember last issue ended with a cliffhanger or a dramatic reveal I can't remember what but something I do enjoy the I do I do enjoy the comic but they keep flashing back and the the all these new gods who come back every hundred and ten years or something that their whole lives are whole so convoluted now in the beginning they were kind of all figuring themselves out and we were figuring the book out but now it's just like everything's interwoven this character uh and that character are all bound together and this character's gone and this character's come back and it's like whoa it is toughy usually they give you a little what has gone before in the beginning but i guess they skipped it this time but uh, that helps a little with this this, this monthly thing lately has just been like wow that's complex <laughs> next we got some mage i thought this was going on hiatus for a couple months but i guess not there's issue 12 the hero denied uh, this the plot's been moving along in a nice clip with this this is the there's two separate plots going on now this is um mage's uh wife and son who have been kidnapped by the villains who are after him and he's on a uh, they're they're basically kidnapped and held prisoner in this magic cell and they're trying to figure a way out of the magic cell and he's with his daughter kind of on a road trip on a journey on a quest Trying to find some special weapon to take out. Uh, there's the villainess who's got them all. The villain of the piece. I forget her name even. But um, she's got a bunch of her daughters. With her. They're, they're, he's hanging out in the underworld now. Like I said, looking for some special weapon. So so we've got a trying to, trying to escape from a magic prison. And on a quest going on in Mage. Uh, enjoyable story. It's going to be 15 issues like the previous three series, and this is the, the last of the Mage series ever, so they say. Oh, and Birthright is back. Look at that. What happened to last in this? What is that? Oh, that's... Uh, this takes place in, on Earth in a magical world. Don't ask me which one this is. 
Um, and I think, let's see, what happened last issue? It's been a while. Huh, nice double page. This is always, a, I'm never fond of the covers, but it's got nice double page spreads. I think uh, last that happened in this are a gang of earthlings and magic users who are fighting the evil people from the other alternate dimension. Um, they hold up in Ireland somewhere and then had bad guys come after them. Uh, they, there was a whole set piece on a train where they had a train crashed and things happened. And uh, it's, it's, good. it's a very action-oriented book, but there's a lot of plot, too. Um, a lot of stuff happening between the two worlds where uh, this one big supervillain conquered the whole fantasy world and now he's got his designs on earth so he wants to come over and the lead character was supposed to be a hero and go back and save the other world but instead he got turned stuff like that so birthright and the last comic of the week is the beauty <coughs> pardon me i mean, i was talking to the comic shop a whole lot so my throat's a little dry uh Let's see the last issue. I think we went back to criminal stuff in the last issue of The Beauty. <coughs> Hold on one second. I'll be back in a moment. Here we go. Got my water bottle. Hmm. Uh, I mostly drink water. Matter of fact, I, not even mostly. I always drink water. I don't. I don't like anything sweet to drink, so I, the only thing I drink is water. I, uh, odd, because I like sweets to eat, but to drink, it's all water. What were we talking about here? That's right, the beauty. We've had cop stories, we've had robber stories, we've had slice of life stories, we've had media stories, and now we're back to... I think these are uh, robber stories. They're, oh, that's right. Last issue was the beginning of a new story arc... And our two, these two guys right here, where are they? There's a guy and a girl. Uh, ah, there they are. This guy and this girl right here are criminals, and they're killing other criminals. So last issue was all about them killing a group of criminals. For what? I'm not even sure what their motivations are. I think one of their buddies got killed, and now they're hunting down the you know the, their buddies being killed somehow broke the criminal code. And now they're after all the criminals who killed their buddies, and they killed a bunch of them. Now they're going up against some real big psycho. Uh, so we'll have to see how that goes. Yeah, so we've, we've gotten back to the criminal element of this. So there you go. Four books. Now we'll give you a little look at my, as you, as you can see it, uh, my giant monster face. I'm working on some more of these large ink drawings. And this is all ink on paper. Let's see if we get, see, it really glares. Oh, I got Okay, hold, grab two. I have all, I have all my large drawings stacked up here at the moment, and one more ready to go in the back once I figure out what I'm going to draw. But I decided I, I've done these small mostly. Let me, there's another one over here. Whoops! If you go to my Instagram, you can see I put in a whole set of uh, different size ones. But I'll, this is one of the larger ones. I, this this used to be the largest size I do these monster faces. I also do them a lot of them five by seven and six by nine. And this, I did this size just because I and I do these I do these all with a busted up old brush that comes to a point that doesn't come to a point. They're supposed to these brushes are supposed to come to a point. Let's see, like this one right here. You see that point up top. But when the India ink eats away at them, they no longer come to points. They come to many points. So this is what I use to make this. Lots of brush work with uh, scratchy, scratchy, bright little scratchy, scratchy teeth. But I also, um, I put this one also up on my, um, my Etsy page if you're looking to buy a big drawing. So check out my Etsy page. The link will be down below. And... Maybe I'll get to making some other drawings with this uh, crazy brush here. But uh, meanwhile, you guys have a good week out there.